I'm going to show you how to use the thermodynamic square to determine all of Maxwell's relations. We have Helmholtz energy, Gibbs free energy, enthalpy, and internal energy. We also have the natural variables, volume, temperature, pressure, and entropy. We can go clockwise and anti-clockwise between these variables and a minus sign between entropy and pressure. Choose a variable, any variable. We're going to start with dt and we're going to go anti-clockwise to dv. This means that s, the next variable, is the constant. To equate this Maxwell relation, we mentioned the last variable that we didn't mention, but now we have to go anti-clockwise, so it's dp ds at constant v. But remember, the change from s to p is negative, so we need to put a negative sign. Let's do another one. We're going to grab dt again, but this time we're going to go the other direction, dp at constant s. The last variable we didn't mention was v, so it's dv ds at constant p, again going the other direction. Now that I've solved the first two Maxwell relations for you, would you be able to solve the last two relations here? You can also determine what the natural variables are for each parameter using this thermodynamic square. Beside Helmholtz, the natural variables are volume and temperature, and beside Gibbs, it's temperature and pressure, and so on.